Hey, it's Janice, author of Unlock Your Voice, The Secrets to Singing, and head vocal coach of Life Academy. And it's time to... Hydrate your vocal cords immediately because my voice is feeling super dry and super scratchy right now And there is actually a quick way to immediately hydrate your vocal cords Now if you've watched my previous video on hydration You'll know already by now that when you drink a glass of water It actually takes maybe two hours or even more just for that water to you know Hydrate everything else in your body before it hydrates your vocal cords So a quicker way to do this would be to actually give it a little bit of a sore you can steam your vocal cords in three ways, alright? So number one, you can take a shower for say maybe 20 minutes, a hot shower, you know, where there's quite a lot of steam going on, or a bath for 20 minutes. The second one is to get an actual steam inhaler. You can get it online, believe it or not. Yep, there is such a thing. And if you don't have that, you can always resort to your own home remedy, and that is to get a bowl of hot water. Now make sure you, when you get that bowl of hot water, it's hot, not boiling hot, like you know, still boiling, alright? Hot enough that there is hot steam. Then take that bowl, place it on table like this, alright? So mine's a really small bowl because I'm at work right now and I don't have that huge bowl, but a bigger bowl would be even better. And then grab a towel, but again, I'm at work right now, so I don't have a towel, so I'm using this scarf, okay? So you want to wrap that towel around your head like that, okay? And make sure there's like a... You know, everything is closed up like this. And then just go around that bowl like that, all right? And then cover up from here on. And then breathe in and out through your nose. Or even your mouth, that's fine. Just do a Darth Vader basically, okay? And do this for about 5 to 15 minutes depending on how much, you know, you feel you need in terms of, you know, hydrating your vocal cords. And then you'll actually feel like your vocal cords or your voice is not that scratchy anymore or not that dry anymore. Now, if you're wondering how this works, it's simple because I've drawn this out for you. <laughs> you probably can understand this better. And basically, this is um, your vocal anatomy to a certain degree, part of it. When we swallow anything, whether it's food or water, it goes from here in our mouths into this channel here. And this is known as the esophagus. So, um, you know, that's where your food and water goes. So if we take water from there, it takes quite a while for that water to absorb into our body and then hydrate our vocal cords. You know, the place where we actually make sound from, right? So to immediately hydrate these guys over here or this voice box here or the vocal cords here, what we need to do is inhale steam because when we breathe in air or inhale steam, and it goes through these channels, it will travel into and through our vocal cords. So therefore, our vocal cords will actually come in direct contact with the steam, or in other words, the water. So it gets hydrated. Alright, so give it a shot. Now do know that um, you can get dehydrated. Your vocal cords can get dehydrated for all sorts of reasons. It could be, you know, you're too tired or you've been abusing it a lot or you haven't been drinking enough water. But bad vocal technique can also result in that. So practice good vocal technique, especially even in, you know, your day-to-day -day speaking and public speaking. And speaking of which, if you would like to, you can join me for Power Talk, which is happening on 20th of February. It's a masterclass session on public speaking speaking where I will be sharing with you what healthy vocal techniques you can practice in your day-to-day -day and public speaking.